Hello, hello. <laughs> Look what I got. It's upside down, but it's my Fat Fit Fun Spring 2023 box, I think. Is it spring? Or is it summer? It's spring, right? I don't know. But you guys know I'm not loving Fab Fit Fun. It is not my favorite. I mean, that's no secret. I just feel like it's expensive and the options aren't that great. This month, or this quarter, I should say, what I found was there's just so many of the same thing. Like each category that you could choose from, there was like an eye cream. Like, okay, I get, I get it. But like, and I also get that like eye cream is more universal. You know, you don't need a specific skin type, blah, blah, blah. But like, come on. Just come on. I don't know. They should be using like an acne spot treatment in there. I would love. Um, they do have face masks sometimes. But like, come on. Like everyone has a different skin type. Like not everyone wants. And also for quarterly, I've been using the same eye cream for ages. Like you run through eye cream so slow. It's like the slowest product to use. Like I would love to have more mineral SPFs maybe. That would be awesome. Body or face. I do like the hair products. But again, like it takes me forever to get through them because there's so freaking many. I also love more home items would be amazing, but not like the ones that you already have. Like so many times they offer things that are like super common that you already have in your home. If you live in a home, you know, I once got a Lazy Susan. That was like my favorite thing. That was amazing. But some things are just like repetitive. Anyways, we're already a minute and a half into the video. I haven't opened it. I think I got two extras in here that I ordered. I don't remember. That's one thing I do like that by the time you get it, you forgot what you picked. Um, so I never know if I actually picked these things or if they got it wrong. So that's great. But I'm excited. I do have to say that their tracking sucks because I got the notification that like, oh, your item is tracking. And it says the label was created and there's no movement. And even yesterday I checked and it still said no movement for the last eight days. And then it showed up today. So cool. Let's just open this sucker. Okay. Scratch and match game. For winter okay well we'll do that i don't know more hello fresh which they don't work if you've used it before and who hasn't used it before hmm this is one of the items that i think i paid for or was this in one of my i can't remember but it's a foot file i got one of these from fab fit fun before but i gave it to my boyfriend so i wanted one for myself because my feet are shockingly dry now the heat turned off i don't have to scream anymore i do love that they don't use a little piece of paper or plastic and it's all like recyclable cardboard let's get into it this is one of the things i ordered is the brave body mineral melt um, empowering acne prone skin it is the um moisturizer from um hero cosmetics i love hero cosmetics the ingredients seemed really nice um, and it's not even like I have body acne, but I have like weird redness on my shoulders and stuff like that. So I thought I'd give this a go. I, like I said, I like the ingredients. I love this brand. Um, so I thought it would be nice and it's a decent size and I like the squeezy tube. So that was something I bought. I think it was like $5. And then this comes with the, um, the little foot file. This was something I think I ordered as well. It's the intensive hydrating heel treatment. Um, like I said, my feet have been really dry for some reason. Um, honestly, it's weird. I think it's when... I cleaned my shower and I used like heavy duty cleaner and I went in the shower with bare feet and I think that's what it did. I think it like eat away at my feet. So let's open this. Let's see if it smells good. Ooh, it does smell good. Ooh, it smells really good. I like it. I don't know how to describe it. it smells expensive. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, I forgot I got this. This is another little add-on thing I bought. It's a no bite nail recovery. I don't bite my nails. I like pick and it's gross. I, like bite at my cuticles because I'm gross. Um, the skin next to the nail. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. If you think I'm gross, then go away. But this is supposed to like, you put it on and like it's supposed to prevent you from doing that. I don't know. I just, whatever. Who knows if it's going to work. But for $5, I've wanted to try it. This I'm not that excited about, to be honest. This is from Necessaire. I have a body wash from them. I just finished that I got from FabFitFun and I didn't like it. It wasn't hydrating. It was like the most basic thing in the world. The smell was like overwhelmingly eucalyptus-y, which is the smell of it. Um, but I don't know why this brand gets so much hype. Like it's expensive and plain. Like I use Dove and it's great. Anyway, this is the... Um, body serum which i was hoping would be better than just the body jet body wash um it has hyaluronic acids so dehydrated skin replenish plump fragrance free which is nice and it says it's accepted by the eczema association so i'm hoping this is better than the other one this is what it looks like the body serum fragrance free i don't know it feels the packaging feels cheap i don't know why 
this, the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Gel Cream Moisturizer. I wasn't sure about this, to be honest, just because I think there is a fragrance in it. Am I right? Maybe there isn't. Maybe there's a little. Um, but my current moisturizer, I'm like halfway through my night one. Now, gel cream isn't my normal thing because I do have drier skin, but it's getting warmer out. And it says AM and PM. And Summer Fridays is like a good brand, isn't it? And this is like probably saving me a lot of money by getting it in here. I love the little, I love this. It's adorable. Ooh. Actually, maybe it doesn't have fragrance. It doesn't smell like anything. Um, I'm excited about this one, I gotta say. For the summer, I feel like it'll be nice. So this month, this month, this quarter is so far one of my favorites, I have to say. <sighs> Illamasqua Gel Sculpt Contouring Gel. I didn't think this would be good, and a friend of mine told me it wouldn't be good, but I didn't like anything else. Um, it's a, I got in the shade Outline. I don't even wear makeup. I don't know why I got this. It's like the tiniest thing, and it's like super expensive, isn't it? Gel Sculpt Outline. Um, I don't even like wear makeup more than like once a month, and it looks like way dark. What the heck did I get that shade? Why would I pick that shade? There's no way this is the shade that I picked. Um, I guess maybe I did because it doesn't even show up. It feels like a lip balm. It smells like perfume. Okay, that's weird. Why does it feel like lip balm? And like, let's see if I blend this in. Does it even do anything? Like, I don't know. Okay, and then, like I said earlier, eye cream. A brightening dark circle eye cream. I have like four eye creams right now. Um, This is from Ren, which I actually don't know if I've maybe used one thing from them in the past. Um, But I do like that it says brightens and smooths because I like the brightness and then I also need like anti-aging. Results, dark circles appear reduced, skin is more even, hydrated and radiant for bright, firm, fresh looking eyes. And then I got plates, which is boring, but um, yeah, I, I buy cheap plates because I'm poor. Um, says the girl who just spent $50 on a FabFitFun box. We don't use paper plates, so all my plates are like scratched from knife stuff. Um, these are nice. I got the dark ones. They had like, they had like a, um, patterned one. And they're a little bit smaller than my other ones, um, but they feel really nice. They like look ceramic, but they're plastic or melamine. Um, they're like a grayish, bluish, black. And I like that they're smaller because our plates now are humongous. Um, yeah, this is navy actually. It doesn't look like navy to me, but I like these. They feel good and they actually seem shiny. So like they may not scratch as easily. Um, but I think that's it. Um, I don't know. I definitely am happier than I have been in the past with this. So I think this is one of my favorite ones, to be honest. Like, there's nothing in here that I'm like, ugh, I hate this. Maybe the Illamasqua thing. Just because, like, who invented this? Isn't Illamasqua, like, a super expensive brand? Let's put it on my lips and just see what happens. Because it's like, I just want to see. I didn't do anything, but it feels hydrating, like a thin lip balm. This is just weird. Cats are in the box, but... That's that for this FabFitFun video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye!